Hey guys, what's going on? We're here with Blake Zaccanino from Shaw and Shaw PC. I'm Dr. Frank from Northtown Chiropractic and Injury Rehab. And Blake, we've done a lot of videos on car accidents and in today's video, I wanna talk about what a person should do if they're in a car accident in Western New York and New York State and the importance of contacting a doctor and seeking care for their injuries following that motor vehicle accident or following that car accident. Blake, why is it so important that someone should go see a physician for their injuries? Why, why, why is that important from a legal standpoint? Well, it's, it's extremely important because your, your entire case in proving your injury is gonna be based on medical records. Obviously, what you say and what you are subjectively saying matters, but it's all about documenting your, your injury as soon as possible because, it, you know, and Dr. Frank, we've talked about this a lot. Um, it also ensures that your doctor has more credibility to be able to relate the accident to a certain injury because if you don't treat for your injuries for a number of months and there's other there's a lot of other issues that will get into gaps in treatment that could kill your case but um it makes it more and more difficult to relate an accident to an injury to an accident if they don't have that medical documentation from our standpoint we tell people this all the time something else to keep in mind too um you're in a car accident you go to the hospital you go to urgent care after going through that seeing your primary care physician it, it's probably wise to work with a physician that understands no fault and car accident injury if you're in New York State, the documentation for it, the treatment plans for it, um, that, that stuff matters. If you see your primary care physician, they tell you to take a leave and aspirin and it says muscle sprain strain and you're on your way and then four or five months from now you're suffering from numbness and tingling in your legs due to a disc herniation and migraine headaches because of whiplash, well, that was never documented along your course of care and you don't really have strong proof now that these current symptoms you have, leg pain, migraines, whiplash, are related to that accident because maybe the urgent care center, maybe your primary care physician, maybe they didn't go into the detail that perhaps like we go into here at Northtown Chiropractic and Injury Rehab or that some other physicians familiar with no fault care go into. So I think that's important too. One of the reasons you wanna seek care early on is because the sooner you come in for an injury, the, the sooner we're gonna be able to get you feeling better. Yep. Um, the, the ultimate goal should always be to get better. There's no amount of money that's worth a permanent disability or permanent injury. There's just no amount of money. So yeah. your priority should always be getting better. If you're unable to get better, or if you need that next level of care, if you need a fusion, if you need a surgery, we're gonna guide you through that process, documenting it along the way. We would never wanna to jump to those conclusions, but sometimes they do happen, and we're gonna be honest and upfront about that in our documentation, which again, will still support you. Um, I think sometimes people are under the impression, oh, I don't wanna get better because then my case is no. gone, which is just, that's not true. Like you're, you're either going to get better with care or you're not. Yeah. Um, it's, it, that's, that's not true. And the third thing I'd like to say too is the, the consistency of care. When you're seeking, let's say, chiropractic care, it's consistent over the course of a year. You're coming in one time a week, three times a week for some people for a duration of time, and that's continually documented. Your day-to-day -day activities, are you still working? Are you still able to play with your kids? Are you still able to travel? Are you able to sit for a long period of time, stand for a long period of time? All of those things are documented yep. under our care, especially because of the frequency that we're treating your, your injury because a lot of back pains require frequent treatment. Um, you don't get that sometimes if you're just going through a primary care physician or if you or only like had that one. Care. Exactly, if you just had that one urgent care appointment, you're kind of on your way after that and, and that's the end of it. Yeah, and that, that uh, reminds me too of the importance you know, kind of building on what Dr. Frank said, the importance of being with a doctor that understands no fault and understands how to handle these cases is the law requires objective medical evidence, meaning not just what, not just you saying my knee hurts or my back hurts, you need an x-ray to 
you know, determine whether you have a break because that could be super, that is really helpful to your case if you have a break. And we'll, we will get into the, because there's only certain injuries that are worth money in motor vehicle accidents. Um, and also, if, if it's a non-break, so for example, a disc herniation, it, the law will require, in most cases, an MRI that will be able to definitively say you have a, you have a herniated disc. And that's where, too, seeing the right medical provider can matter. If we combine that MRI with a nerve conduction test or an EMG test, if we combine that with a range of motion test, now we have several objective pieces of information to provide to your attorney and your other medical care providers saying, hey, this is what this person's suffering with. Let's try and get them the best treatment possible. And on your guys' end, hey, maybe we need to be trying to settle for a bit more money or if this goes to trial, something else. And that, you know, the one thing that you said to it reminds me is one of the categories of injury is basically that you're limited in your everyday activities for 90 out of the first 180 days post-accident. And what that, it is super helpful if you're seeing a doctor over the, you know, on a consistent basis over the first 90 days post-accident and that doctor is documenting, I can't do my housework. I can't take care of my kids. I can't drive, all this stuff. They can put you out of work if they feel that it's necessary. That is super helpful in proving a qualifying injury. So that really triggered me when you said, yes, we document everything. We document range of motion. We document things that you can and can't do because that it's, we are, we as lawyers are, you know, and, and we've said this earlier, we just are there to make sure that we have all the right pieces of the puzzle and putting it together. And one of the major components is having the proper medical care and doctors like Northtown Chiropractic that understands how to handle people that are hurt in these cases. Of course, and that brings, you're talking about organizing things, and that brings me to my last point. You know, a lot of times, again, not always, just not to pick on urgent cares or anything, but you go to the urgent care, you're released, you're told to follow up if you want with something, and you're kind of lost in the, the mix. If you know, for example, here, if someone is, if we're treating someone's back and they're not getting better, we're going to make that referral to the imaging facility. We're going to make that referral to the pain management doctor, to the orthopedic specialist, to the neuro, to the neurologist, to the neuro specialist, um, sometimes to the psychologist, if there's been PTSD from the accident, um, organizing a person's care and helping them through each step of care along the way is a very confusing process. Who do I go see? Who do I speak to? Who's the best doctor for this? Having someone on your team like we try and do here is no different from having an attorney who organizes those de deadlines and things for you. We're gonna do everything we can to organize your care for you and make sure you can move through this no fault insurance process as smoothly as possible. So. I, I think we covered a lot yeah. of the main, those are the main things I would yeah. have to say. Is there anything you'd want to add? Yeah, you know, I think the last thing I want to add too is it's also important for, um, well, it's helpful to have a lawyer and to have your lawyers and your doctors and providers on the same team as far mm -hmm. as making sure that you, that you're getting the proper care and that all that all that we care about is that the truth comes out we want the truth we want your full injury to be realized and documented and you know like earlier today we have a mutual client and we're discussing the injuries and um you know honest when because that's how we are we're, we don't yeah. misrepresent we're brutally honest and honestly having an open and frank discussions about about injuries and that helps us as attorneys to relate it back to the law and say if, if it goes to trial we have a medical expert that will have this opinion and then we can evaluate that opinion and go from there yeah that's great guys thank you for watching be sure to follow us into the next video where we talk about the top three things you should do if you find yourself in a car accident thanks again Blake thank you